If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen the video of the attic that we have. Uh, my project today is to try to deal with the really janky and somewhat uh, questionable pathways we have to get around uh, the attic. Uh, as you can tell, there's kind of a myriad of different types of wood that are used to get to the various corners where the windows are. Um, and this wood is really old and it will bend under weight. There's actually no support. There's a support here and there's a support over there. And then this piece of wood spans it and it just bends in the center. And then it gets even more precarious when you try to get over there to the ladder that goes up to the third level. So I'm gonna attack this project in a couple different phases. So phase one is I'm gonna take these wood flooring boards, which were from our kids' bathroom, which we renovated, and use that to create a platform that goes straight across to the ladder here so you can get up nice and clean. Um, that fiberglass you see is just on top of some uh, roofing and there's a room below that. So if you fall through that fiberglass, you'll fall into the room below. So that'll help mitigate that risk somewhat. The next step is across this spans here with a wood bridge platform. Right now you see this thin little beam here. I actually put this little support in here because there was nothing there before. When you walked across these planks, this whole thing would bend. And I am surprised it has not broken and somebody's fallen through already. Once that is done, I'll take these planks and put them to reinforce this platform here. These boards are pretty thin so and they're old, so I think these will do a little better job. And if my wood platform concept works as well as I think it will, I'll just use it to keep extending the walkway all the way to the end and to the left and right to the corner of the, of the attic. It's kind of like building a big tree house. So let's go ahead and start with phase one. So if you're curious about the flooring I'm repurposing from the kids' bathroom, this is castle level flooring. So it's solid wood. It's about an inch thick, uh, two and a half centimeters. Uh, and it has a ton of grooves in it so that I can uh, interlock these. So it should make for a really strong platform going forward. So here's my progress on phase one. Now I'm seeing the tricky part. One, I need to cut more, some more boards, but two, I have this ladder I have to work around. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut this bottom ring off. We don't need it. It's, it's a little high and it prevents the, uh, from laying flat on where I need it to get over here. And then I'll just mark on this board and maybe cut an inset, allow uh, that board to go all the way in and we'll fit into here and then I'll just continue with the flooring and do something similar when I hit that side. I've completed phase one. Uh, it came out really nice. So this floor is super solid. You can walk all the way to here to get access to this ladder and go up to the third floor there. I'm now going to have to look at doing phase two. This gap is tricky because of the distance I have to cover. It's about 65 inches or about 163 centimeters across. The design for my wood bridge platform um, is built so that I don't necessarily need that support there. Uh, if I get support out of it, great, but I'm not relying on it in my design. So my biggest question is whether I try to assemble the bridge components here or build it somewhere else and then try to logistically figure out how I get it up this rather straight ladder and manhandle it into place here. There are advantages and disadvantages to both approaches. I'm gonna to have to think about this one. For phase two, I'm gonna use this set of lumber that I purchased. These are 80 centimeter by 60 centimeter studs, uh, which can easily hold my weight uh, by themselves. So if I have two of those in one of my uh, wood bridge platforms, that should be more than enough to hold the weight of a person walking across. So after much deliberation, I decided to build the platform in place. Um, you can see the two spars are in place across the expanse. Um, the reason I went this way was because what I've learned with this castle, nothing is level or straight. And if I tried to assemble this thing uh, and then tried to pull the whole platform up and drop it in here, it would not have fit and I would have to make tweaks. And so it's easier just to make the tweaks as I'm building it. So we're going to just build it in place. The next step is to put the wood planks across those spars. And instead of using the wood that I want, I found some uh, old wood that's two and a half centimeters thick versus the two centimeters thick planks that I bought. So one will make this platform that much more robust and two, it saves me some euros because uh, that wood that I bought was not cheap. Laddie, laddie, see that bridge? That bridge crosses the infinite expanse. I built that bridge with me bare back and hand I did. I found the finest pieces of lumber in the castle, drug up on me bare back, and pounded each plank in with me bare hand. That bridge will be here long after you and I have passed. But do they call me McGregor, the great bridge builder? No. McGregor joke, look it up. Anyway, the bridge is finished. Um, super strong, super stable, easy to walk on. 
It doesn't even make any noise when I cross it. That thing is built like a tank. So the next phase is to deal with this platform here. And as I mentioned, I was gonna take these planks and repurpose them over here. However, you see this line running here and it runs across the planks and it's fastened down. That's the 400 volt three phase power for the kitchen downstairs. And I really don't wanna muck with that. So I'm gonna have to figure out a different approach for dealing with this area here. This is the area underneath the platform that I'm trying to uh, figure out how to fix. So what's interesting here is I knew this stud was here. I forgot about this stud. So actually the only area I have to really address is this gap here. So what I think I'm gonna do is take one of those 80 centimeter by 60 centimeter studs, put a bracket here, push it up against the floor here, and then over here, have it come out and I'll put a piece of wood here and force it up against that floor. And that should make that area a lot more load bearing. I mounted the bracket to the old wood beam and then mounted the stud to the bracket. And on the other end, I took some wood blocks and put that underneath the other end of the stud and it's pressed up against the floor. So that's pretty secure. That's not gonna move anytime soon. And just to over-engineer it, I actually screwed in every plank into the stud up here. So now this area, nothing bends, super stable. I am standing at the highest point you can get on the castle without getting on top of the roof. The only higher point on this is over in the church spire. This job is not for the faint of heart or anybody that has a fear of heights. One of the biggest challenges I had with this project was trying to get my equipment and material up and down this ladder. It is the only way to get up to the next level. Um, it's super straight and in fact it leans in a little bit on the bottom and there are no handholds on the top so with your hands full Trying to get your equipment up and trying not to fall off the ladder was a challenge. So my first thought was to get one of those attic doors with a retractable ladder and install it between these beams here and then that would give me a staircase to get up to the next level. However, when I looked on the internet, I found this super simple staircase solution. Um, relatively inexpensive, super easy to install and it fits perfectly between the rafters here that gets me up to the next level. So now I have an easy path to take either tools and materials up or drag materials down from the upper levels of the attic. Well, I've taken this project as far as I'm gonna go. We are fast approaching in the winter and it is getting awfully cold working up here. So I think I'm gonna pause for a little while until the weather warms up again. On to my next project.